Uh, good morning everyone! Welcome to the Fusion Camper Van and we are going camping this weekend. <laughs> yes! We're gonna meet up with Joe's friends, which is Joe also, and we're gonna get on the road because we're late. First off, let me thank Fusion Luxury Motors or Fusion Motor Company. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on YouTube for lending us this beautiful Sprinter camper van. And we're gonna get out of here. Decided to do an early stop and we've never gone camping before in California. It's always been one of those things that we wanted to do and Sam's joining us and Joey's friends are also joining us. They actually organized everything but I took over and booked our own reservation. Good morning. So we don't know what's gonna happen. We just wanted to see the huge sequoia trees but yeah, we have zero experience. We don't know if the weather's gonna be good. We're gonna be by Kern River, which means it's gonna be a beautiful place. And we got a spot there where we can hook up the van to electricity. And we don't know what to expect. This could be an amazing trip or this could be like an interesting trip. But uh, nonetheless, it's in nature. So we're excited to do that. Take a break from all these supercars and car content and do some nature tripping. I'm just gonna do a phone detox for the moment. So I'm on the phone. Phone detox? Well, I'll still do one. Yeah. Joe and them are far away so we decided to do a pit stop and load some diesel into this bad boy because I don't know what the next diesel stop will be. Joe! Oh you guys are cool! Yeah. Joe Joe has difficulty with technology. <laughs> <laughs> Ways. I can't. <laughs> like Joe is sending you my location pin. Hello. Hello. It's grapes, right? Grapes don't look like that. Okay, we're in the current river canyons. Plus one zero. Okay, I gotta slow down because this is not a sports car. <laughs> Welcome to the river nook. And we are making our way down. It's been a long drive, guys. Wow, look how big these tents are. You know, navigator. Um, you're doing well. And then around, and then now we're gonna start looking for four thirds. Awning out. And this got stuck last time, so hopefully it goes out. Okay, it's doing well. Throw me some shade. Yay! Oh my god. Nice. So have you already hooked it up? Electrical wise, water wise, what's next? I am looking to set up maybe the stove. We'll put it on. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my orange and watch Matt set up his tent. Thanks for adopting our little sister. Yeah. <laughs> We're throwing Sam into the tent with them because oh, the Sprinter van oh, yes. only fits like two people. Oh, okay. So we just dipped our feet into the water and it is freezing! Yes, indeed, it's cold, guys. But yeah, like, I, my feet feel numb right now. The water's so refreshing. I actually want to. Like dip my butt. The girls are almost done setting up. How's the mansion? The mansion is good. Yeah. They actually had to upgrade to a bigger tent because the campsite only allows two vans and one RV. So, so this is the new book I'm reading. It's called Fatal Conveniences, and it's by Darren Olin. Darren was the guy with Zac Efron when they did that documentary, and now it's about all the plastics and toxins in almost everything that we do to make our life convenient that's why it's fatal conveniences like a lot of people don't know like even clothing nail polish leather foods everything has some sick thing in it that is toxic and harmful I'm almost halfway there but wow it's such an eye-opener and I'm so sad that I didn't want to read it but I want to read it So I left the big camera, got my mobile phone, and we are walking to find the group. I see the boys over there. 
water is freezing. But it's lovely. But it's so hot. But it's hot, yes. And tomorrow's supposed to be hotter. Little picnic table here. Okay, mission accomplished. I know. We've been swimming. Woohoo! The only reason I know. Uh, and there's like iron in the water. Because my watch has a magnet on the strap. It's cold. <laughs> Getting ready for dinner. I'm just heating my food. Can't play. Got it all the way in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Joey, how much do you want? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Having some dinner. Yeah. Trying to bring the awning in because it's nighttime already, but it doesn't want to go in. Hope I didn't break anything. But after all the adrenaline, <laughs> I'm so tired now. And we had a good dinner really tight in here so this is the bathroom shower there's a toilet cassette as they say this is the sink and then a cooking area and a fridge down here and then our beds in the back there's a chest freezer also in the back tomorrow we're gonna check out the beautiful sequoia trees and we're very excited for that although there's been a heat wave warning in California so we gotta do extra hydration in the morning anything to add good night <laughs> See you tomorrow. Six AM. Joe didn't sleep so well and it was a little rough. The air conditioning's right above our head, so yeah, it's one of those where it's cold, but it's not cold. And it's blowing directly on you. We're gonna make some breakfast, get some oats. We normally do steel cut oats, but because we're camping, I'm doing instant oats. And I'm gonna add a dollop of almond butter for fat. There's some basil seeds here, some flax seed, um, hemp hearts, and then cinnamon powder, pecan, nuts. Guten Morgen! <laughs> this is what our complete breakfast looks like. Fresh berries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. So you can be super creative with your oatmeal. Joey's oatmeal has beet powder. And my mix is beetroot powder, that's why it's red. So good. Jump in, Joe. Jump in. I really like. Eight degrees. You know it's gonna be hot it's AF, gonna, It's gonna right? be so hot. Not like yesterday, we had overcast. But this time I'm hoping we can find like a watering hole where it's like... Calm. We, we can actually swim in. Yeah. <laughs> and not yeah, get and go all the way swept under. away. You're like, ah, yeah. fuck this! Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. How do you sleep? Decent. Decent? <laughs> <laughs> Matt didn't sleep. Apparently I, he did. I felt like I didn't, but apparently I did because I didn't even know if Trenton left the tent. And so. they were snoring apparently. I didn't hear. Oh. Just giving the crystals a bath. Yeah, energizing my crystals with yep. river energy. I don't know if you guys follow any of the like natural healing methods but normally when you're by the river you have positive ions because of the water flow and how it hits the rocks and stuff so the healing energy when you're by nature with the trees the greenery the beautiful sunrise in the morning it's just very complementive to the natural rhythm of the body and even if you haven't slept well it feels good just to be here listening to the water in an hour we're gonna go hike and check out the beautiful sequoia trees definitely gonna bring you guys along with me because it's worth seeing right you broke it Sam I can't believe you broke it Sam yeah I, I think you bought in Hoda Odyssey <laughs>
<laughs> we're leaving our beautiful Sprinter van here first and we're gonna jump in the Honda Odyssey so we can get on our way. Okay, we're going on a... Uh, actually, I don't talk in these things. <laughs> <laughs> so many bird trees. Wow, look at that. That's acres oh my and gosh. acres and That's acres. That's why it's scary. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's Brodsky. Just like a few meters from the street. This massive tree. Just for scale. It's <laughs> massive. <laughs> and you can go inside the tree. Oh, this is affected by the fire also, but the tree was so big. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> John! That's <laughs> it! Come this side. So you can go inside the tree. I want to go inside. So I thought that was a good one. Go, go, oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> cannot tell how big it is on cam. So one of the reasons we went camping in Kern River was to check out this forest. It's something we've never done in California. Normally we're just in the city or we're going to another city. So this trip's very different for us. It's really just embracing nature and admiring these trees. And according to um, online stuff that I've read, they actually stopped bagging the biggest trees because people visit it and the environment gets destroyed. So people want to preserve it. So the forest rangers never tell anyone anymore what's the tallest and biggest tree because people will go to it. This is the one that's amazing right here. The fallen one? Yeah, because you climb that, you can see how, like you're this, you're literally this small. Yeah. You're this small. Okay, we're going to make our way down here, the fallen tree. How many kids can fit inside a tree? Go, go in, go in, go in. Almost okay, looks wait. fake. Like it looks like it's plastic. These are twin trees actually. Look up the center. Oh yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Oh. Don't fall off the tree. Actually, this is really pretty. <laughs> we got the whole world in his hands. We got the whole world in our hands. We got the whole in our hands. Yeah, this is the one, but look, it burns, Trent. Oh, I know. Wow. It burns. wow. I wonder how this tree fell actually. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Do we know how it fell? Like wind or? I don't know. I think it looks like fire. I don't know. Earth, wind, and fire? <laughs> <laughs> how sad that this tree had to fall. It's, it's a massive tree and look at all the burnt parts there. Joe was saying this is one piece before, all the way to there. You see the tree behind it? I think this one's even bigger. What about me? Am I going to fall and bust my head open? I'm happy. <laughs> twerk, everybody! Twerk. Everybody twerk! Twerk? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would hug you, but I'm really hot right now. <laughs> And it's important to take these pictures because a lot of you are youths and then when you get older you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I have these thirst trap pictures. Okay, so why are we taking them? Don't up? forget about the non-youths right here. <laughs> no, no. Everybody's gonna you be had taking your time. So what is a thirst trap picture? Who would like to explain it? I can explain it. Go ahead. It's a very sexy picture in order to uh, woo whoever you want. So, example is... do these people have water? <laughs> no, but they're not really thirsty. <laughs> yeah. No, actually they kind of are. For, for something else. Okay. 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 And, oh, and I think we can wrap up juice. the conversation. Pepsi. Let's keep walking. Titi <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Go to back muscle. Titi <laughs> Woo! Are you oiled up, Bronson, yet? Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh. I hate this! You love it, Laya! Act like you have to do it. What up, Bronson? Act like you have to do it. This is a Harlequin romance shot. What up, Bronson? You butt. Good, good. That's perfect. Ripped up. Oh, look at that. So is this OnlyFans? This is. This is OnlyFans in the Sequoias. OnlyFans. Oh my god, look at your abs. He's jacked. Oh my god. John, head back. It's friends. Head back. You were good the way you were. Just head back. No. Yes, John. Yes. The queen is moving. We're done. The hike is almost over. This looks like the biggest one here. I don't know if you can see. Maybe Joe can walk the camera backwards for us. So people, how massive is this? I'm still walking. <laughs> it's so crazy to know that these trees are over hundreds of years old, some of them centuries old. And it's just a blessing that we get to enjoy it right now. But I know there's some bigger trees that we want to check out, which is like the redwood forest. And that's going to be saved for another trip because that's a long distance from where we're staying now. Oh my god. So beautiful. It's fantastic. Yeah. What we've learned is some of the trees are up to a thousand or a thousand five hundred years old and basically yeah if they're near a creek they'll grow faster because of the water source if not they'll grow slower and it's just such a blessing to observe these things and hopefully we can take care of them because climate change is real i'm so hungry feed me get in my belly <laughs> No, asparagus is different. This is just for surprise. Matt, watch out with this one because it'll leak if it's not closed properly. Where are we going, Joe? Oh. Uh, we are now going to the second part of our trip, which is the watering hole where we will be swimming. I guess we can change the parking lot there. Well, you saw how it was over there. It's hot. I'm, I'm ready to go anyway. Last day breakfast. Everyone's still sleeping. Okay guys, so we're finally packing. I don't think we're gonna have anything to do with adding any more content to the vlog because that was it. The highlight was the sequoia trees, obviously the beautiful Kern River, swimming in it. We didn't even get videos yesterday when we swam in it, but it was so cold again. But super cool because the sleep at night is so good. We slept last night with the um, awning opening so we could hear the river. And this is the back of the Sprinter van over here. You have a loading tray for stuff and then you have a cooler chest freezer over there. And then the bed can actually go up in case you need to store more items. Back here we do have a generator and some gas so you can set up off-grid. And the camper is equipped with solar panels on the roof. I had to retract the awning yesterday manually. It is a four-wheel drive and comes with <coughs> this craziness. Good morning. So we are packing up now. We're gonna head back to the city. And I guess we're gonna call this vlog already. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I'll see you guys again soon with some car content. Peace.